Local 10 News starts right now. Right now at 5.30, the search for a shooter after two people were hit by bullets early this morning in Miami. The victims are in serious condition at Jackson Memorial Hospital. And we're hearing from frightened neighbors who are dealing with a second shooting incident just this week. Our own Glenna Milberg is live with the latest on the investigation. Glenna. It's true, what a week in this neighborhood. Important to note that there is really no indication at this point that these two very violent episodes are directly related. Both involved a barrage of gunfire and both appear to be hits. It was crazy, it was scary. The gunshots after midnight, the bloodied man running door to door for help. Crazy, like blood all on my porch, my kids waking up to this. Miami police converged on the pierced and pockmarked car in the middle of 6th Avenue near 52nd Street. At least 10 bullet holes in the driver's side window and windshield. A man and a woman had been in that front seat, both wounded. He tried to run for help. It looked like someone was trying to get in our house, so that part was scary, knowing that we have kids. And he told me that I couldn't come outside. They had cones all over my porch and blood was still on my porch. Same neighborhood, not 24 hours earlier, not two avenues away, just on the other side of the highway. A similar scene, a volley of shots, and in that case, a murder. And he did it from the back. It was Cowboys Day, he would be a coward. There were people on 52nd Street with Jamar Dowling when the vehicle pulled up and a guy with a gun got out and shot him. His family believes the murder is some sort of retaliation from a homicide Dowling was charged with last year. A jury had acquitted him. The two young fellas that was with him said it was him. So they they ran, they were scared. There is no obvious evidence that connects Dowling's murder and the apparent hit on the couple in that car other than time and geography and a neighborhood weary of the violence. A lot of shooting, man. Every time you turn around, people get shot. Police do have a few leads in the homicide in this case with the car. Not so much. Obviously, no ar arrests in either case at this point. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami tonight, Local 10 News.